Shalom, shalom, all praises, all praises, honor and glory goes to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, or Kakadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and blessings to you fellow brothers pushing out this word in truth and in sincerity, Shabbat Kanak. And I want to do a quick lesson uh, surrounding 1 Corinthians, the 7th chapter, a couple of verses here. And uh, basically, uh, the title of the video, it can change, right, is don't be too invested in this world. Somewhere around those lines, you know, I'll get it together after the video is done. But I'm going to keep this short and quick. I'm going to try to keep it under 10 minutes, about as much time I have. Uh, so let me go right into it. You know, uh, this is 1 Corinthians 7 and 29. But this, I say, brethren... The time is short. Okay, this is speaking to uh, the hopeful elect. Okay, the, the brothers out there that is put that are pushing the, the word of Yahweh Bashem Ashai as well as the believers, right? Uh, uh, the message that we speak the majority of the time is is what it, it, the time is short. Okay, everything is about to come to an end. Okay. Now the world they don't believe that. That's why it says it talks about that in Luke. Was that, the, uh, was that Luke uh, 17? How, uh, how, you know, the days of Noah, the days of Lot, how they were eating, they were drinking and giving in marriage. It seems like everything else, you know, seems like everything is, is going fine with the world. Okay, but we actually know that the time is very short. It remaineth that both they that have wives be as though they had none. And this is a mindset that we have to carry and, 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 you know, embody, basically, you know, brothers have families, brothers have wives, you know, uh, women, you know, yet that is not the main focus of our lives. The main focus of our lives is doing what? Is, is doing what we're doing. It's prophesying. Okay, so yeah, we do have family and stuff like that, yet that doesn't come in front of, okay, or supersede uh, the work of the Lord. Okay, just as Yahweh Shai came down from heaven to do the will of the Lord, we came down from heaven to do the will of the Lord. We have been given orders. We have been given, you know, a, a job to do, and nothing can come in between that job, right? And anything that does come and tries to take us away from that job, which is doing this work, or doing this work, all right, we must cast it off. So that's how serious. The times that we're in, because we don't know if our family's going to turn on us. We don't know if the women that are we that we're with that they're going to you know continue to the end. Now if they continue to the end, they'll they'll be saved. Okay. So let's continue. And they that weep as though they wept not. Okay. The same rules apply here. Okay. Because we're we're oppressed as a people. You know, brothers catch all type of hell. Where you know at, at times oh actually you'll start weeping. And this world tells you a man is not supposed to weep, but, you know, going, you know, going through what we go through, especially coming to this knowledge, you know, you'll, you'll shed some tears, man. Yet, it says, as though they wept not, you're not supposed to be down in that spirit. Really, you're supposed to rejoice. Well, it's going to tell you. And they that rejoice as though they rejoice not. Okay, so actually, that's another scripture. We talk about rejoice. I'm going to hit it really quickly. Just give me a second. Romans 13, where it talks about uh, rejoicing. Uh, this is, uh, uh, or somewhere around those lines, says Romans 13, 11, and that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. Okay, so what would that do? That will put us in a more a rejoicing spirit. But we're not rejoicing, uh, of, uh, you know, physically like as a party. We're rejoicing that, well, you know what? That's the scripture. I didn't want that scripture, but that scripture lines up perfectly. We're rejoicing because all these things are happening uh, uh, simultaneously, which coincides with prop biblical prophecy. This is this is the scripture right here. This is tw Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice, see, ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Okay? We're rejoicing as uh, the heavenly host is rejoicing. We're also rejoicing. OK, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. That's why that's we, we're just reading that the time is short. 
because a great woe is about to uh, befall the planet Earth, okay? Starting with you Israelites, for the devils come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he, ha that he has but a short time. But we're still in that spirit of rejoicing because what? There's Revelation 12 and 10, and I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now is come salvation. That's why. And the strength and strength and the kingdom of our power and the power of his anointed for the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our power day and night. And this is about to be manifested uh, on a physical sense when Esau Edom is taken down when our Lord comes back. So, yeah, we're in a rejoicing spirit. Yet it says, as though they rejoice not. I'm back in first Corinthians seven. Because the the you know, it's not over yet. You know, we're still we're still uh, running the race. OK, you have uh, Israelite groups that, you know, oh, I'm Israelite now. So now it's party time. You know, we got the victory. Yeah, we do have the victory. Yet we do not know if we are the first fruits. We are the hopeful elect. OK, we give diligence to get, make uh, to, to to make our call and election sure. And they that buy as though they possess not. So it's still the same here. It's all a mindset. Because brothers have certain things, you, you're going to fall into certain blessings, yet you're supposed to be in a spirit that you will drop all those things, okay, uh, uh, not even bat in the eye, okay, that's how, that's the seriousness or the serious times that we're in, okay, you can't hold on to these things, and they that use this world, so we use this world, okay, we get in, we get out. OK, we have certain things that, you know, we do. All right. But we don't put our strength into those things. We don't trust in those things. OK, we certain business ventures, certain investments, certain little worldly things that we might uh, uh, do, you know, in, in, the, in the time that we have here in, in, in the earth while things are still, you know, moving along. Right. But we do not. Uh, it says and they that use this world as not abusing it. For the fashion of this world passeth away, right? The fashion of this world passeth away, meaning what? This this world that we are experiencing, okay, with Esau, Edom, the other nations, okay, uh, Jake, okay, uh, everything you see, okay, cartoons, you know, uh, watch, going to the movies, you know, traveling, that's all going to pass away with fervent heat, okay, or with those thermonuclear missiles and a new heaven. And a new earth is going to be established. And that's right around the corner. And that's where our main focus should be in. Okay. And we shouldn't allow any of these things in the world to, to pull us or, or, or take us or occupy us from that very fact. Now, I have this word here. This is the point. This is the whole point of the lesson. I wanted to go into this right here. So let's go into it. This is the word for uh, uh, abusing in that scripture, right? Strong's G twenty seven ten, katachalma, katachalma. So you you heard that it says to use much, or excess excessively, or ill, to use up, con consume by use, to use fully. Right, we were in this world, right, but we are not um, consumed by this world. We do not consume ourselves. OK, with the with the, uh, the, the affairs of this world. OK, it will t it talks uh, talks about that. It says arm yourselves. Likewise, arm your cells. Let me see. Right. This is uh, first Peter's four and one for as much then as a Mashiach has suffered for us in the flesh. Arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. For he that has suffered in the flesh, flesh has ceased from sin, that he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh to the lust of men. And that's essentially what, you know, here in Babylon is the flesh and the lust of men. Prior to us waking up to this truth, we lived our life according to how we thought our lives should live. OK, uh, I wanted to be, um, you know, really was centered around money, you know, and, and carnal carnal things right but now we have you know been chosen out of the world to do what to cast off all those things okay and to and to live let me read this again but he 
that he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh to the lust of men, but to the will of the Most High, right? The will of the Most High. So that's our main focus. What is the will of Yahweh Shema Shai? Well, it tells us in Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter, that the whole duty of man is to fear the Most High and keep his commandments. And within those commandments, we, there's commandments in the New Testament, okay, for uh, men, okay, to hear this word, okay, and to go out, eat the roll, um, uh, eat the roll, and then go teach. Second Timothy 2 and 2, and, and the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, right, we heard, we heard this testimony of, from our apostles and elders, right? The same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. So they got this word, then they taught the word, and then fruit started to increase. And, and likewise, that's our job. Our job is to teach for other members of the elect to wake up and to teach also. So we can't be consumed or, 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 or really use too much of our time and, and you know, to the cares and affairs of this world. Now we have cares and affairs, family, you know, jobs, you know, uh, you know, basic necessities. Yet we understand that our main focus, our main objective, okay, is to do the will of Yah Bashim Al Shai, not to you know uh, be consumed with riches, not to be consumed with the flesh, not to be con consumed with material goods, right? Because all those things as we know, are going to pass away. Let's read that verse again. We're going to close it. Okay. 1 Corinthians 7 and 31. And they that use this world, right? We we use the world. Okay. If you got to get on programs, get on some programs. But, but understand that, okay, let me try to do better. Let me try to do something better. Yet the same mindset of, you know, wanting to do better, you know, as far as financially, you know, having a better situation, you're not invested like that's the that's the end all be all that's going to save you because we know that's not going to save you. OK, so we use this world as not abusing it. So we get a little bit more understanding. We could have went further before the lack of time. We just vaguely touched on it. It means to overuse. OK, to be consumed by. So don't be consumed by the affairs of this world. OK, at paying bills, you know, going to work, trying to you know, the rat race, you know, uh, keeping up with the Joneses, right? Why? Why? Why is that? Why don't, why shouldn't we be concerned with those things? For the fashion of this world passive away. Everything that you see in front of you, even the, the, the constructs, okay, it's all going to pass away. Everything's going to pass away. Even your, your desires, the, your fleshly desires that you wanted, the things that you wanted to accomplish in this world, okay, that's going to pass away. And this is going to hurt these people because it's going to, they're going to come to a realization that all their hopes and dreams are gone. And there's no uh, a way of getting those things back. And they're going to lose it. Yet we're going to be focused in on the, on the prize. And that's what? Kingdom of heaven. That's being delivered. That's uh, getting those crowns. Okay. That's uh, ha having that white robe, those wedding garments. Okay. So, you know, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Until next time, shalom to the elect.